Hi, everyone. Welcome back to AWS What's Next. My name is Kanal Batra, and I'm a senior developer advocate here. And in this session, we're going to be talking about one of the recently launched features for Amazon Connect called Tasks. Now, I'm joined by two of the people here who helped make this feature possible. Uh, so we'll start, start out with having them introduce themselves, and then we'll dive deeper into the topic. Erin, do you want to introduce yourself first? Sure. Hey, guys. My name is Erin Hall, and I'm a senior solutions architect with Amazon Connect. And I've been, AW, been with AWS for just over five years. And I actually started off my four years as a software developer here. And I got to be a developer with the Amazon Connect team when they launched, which was really exciting. Um, and so, yeah, that's a little bit about me. Awesome. Prashant? Hi, folks. I'm Prashant Rehan. I'm a product manager at Amazon Connect. Um, and I've been leading the product Amazon Connect Test, which we're going to talk about today. Um, I previously led product management for a couple other services, such as Alexa for Business and Amazon Pickup Points and Lockers. Uh, prior to that, I spent six plus years working primarily on semiconductor hardware product development. Awesome. So before we get into tasks, let's take a step back uh, and define and kind of go over what is Amazon Connect for our customers and viewers who are not familiar with the service. Yeah, Amazon Connect is, in short, we define it as our omni-channel cloud-based contact center solution. And so we started off with allowing customers to use the voice channel. And now we can restart, launch chat at reInvent last year, and now we have tasks. And so now it's a contact center solution that's omni-channel where you can use three different channels all in one place. And we scale for you. We You only pay for what you use. You don't pay per agent seat. And so just like other AWS services, it, it, we, AWS manages the infrastructure and does all the heavy lifting for you. So you get to focus on developing a contact center solution that delights your customer. Awesome. So where does tasks, uh, what is Amazon Connect tasks, uh, what is it and how does it fit into the larger uh, Connect application? Sure. Um, so like Aaron pointed out, Amazon Connect omnichannel cloud-based contact center that customers have been using to provide delightful customer service on voice and chat. Um, but there's a lot of work that happens outside of interacting with customers. This is work that could be completed in any of your external applications when you're not engaged on a call. With Amazon Connect Tasks, we're essentially now providing the ability to prioritize, assign, and track any agent work that, could be, that includes work that could be completed within external applications. This could be tasks such as update a, update a customer profile in a CRM application, or follow up on a customer issue, respond to an email, um, respond to an end customer using um, a tweet, for example, using your social media management application, um, or any work that needs to be completed in a back office application. You now can also use the same tools that were previously available for building interactive voice and chat experiences to automate select tasks end-to-end, -end, just completely eliminating them from the agent's workload, allowing businesses to then improve agent productivity and make sure that they're focused more on time they spent um, interacting with customers. Nice. And so when we talk about uh, tasks, essentially a task is just uh, a unit of work, correct? Mm -hmm. That is correct. And so uh, can you dive a little deeper into what are the challenges with managing uh, work in the contact center? Absolutely. So nearly half of a contact center agent's time today is actually spent in work outside of interacting with customers. This is, like I mentioned, could be in a CRM, could be in a business specific application or a social media tool. Let's look at an example to make it more specific. A contact center agent for an insurance company who is following up on a customer call about a new claim needs to typically collect customer documents over email, create a case ticket in a CRM or a case, case processing or a claims processing application, schedule an appointment to follow up with the customer and an appointment for an, uh, for an adjuster to look into the particular claim and then finally notify the customer at the end of all of this, the status of their claim, if it's been completed or not, if there are issues, if they need more information. When a customer typically contacts a business, they expect that agents will either follow up if they need more information and, or when the case has been updated and that the, thing will, that the work itself will actually get resolved. But that's not always the case. The problem is that this work is spread across many disparate applications, which means as agents uh, move between different applications to complete the work, they struggle to understand what task or what item of work is, the, is of the right priority. The agents actually end up relying on handwritten notes or their own memory to understand, okay, this work needs to be completed on this day. I need to finish X work to um, respond to this customer issue. 
and and the problem with this is some issues or some some um, items of work just take a lot longer to complete and in some cases are missed entirely when that happens essentially you lose your customer's trust because now you're either taking a lot longer to um, address customer issues because you're working on items of the wrong priority or you're just completely missing customer expectations by just not finishing the task at all this is where amazon connect task comes in it not only allows you to address these challenges but also improve agent efficiency by automating some of the repetitive work that now you don't need them to be involved in. And then as you're saving agents time, allows you to lower costs. That makes sense. And so, uh, you know, we mentioned improving agent efficiency and simplification. Mm -hmm. uh, can you talk a little bit more about, are there any other benefits here uh, with Connect Tasks? Yeah, um, apart from, Obviously, just I think the, the the core one that we talk about is improving agent productivity, but that means a lot of things. That means you're making sure that your agents are working on the most important or the highest priority task of any type by optimizing or improving how work is distributed across your contact center. This way, you also make sure that the right set of agents are engaged on the right task and they're not instead busy on mundane activities or mundane, mundane repetitive tasks and or um, there's a select group of agents who are taking on bulk of the load of the work. You have equal distribution of work based on um, agent skill set, what their special specialty might be. Um, that's one of the core benefits. The other benefit that adds from this is contact center managers now actually get visibility into what a, what this work is and how it's being completed. Like I mentioned, typically um, the agent work is spread across so many applications and agents rely on their own memory. This work often does not get tracked which means contact center managers cannot identify what work needs to be automated, what work is being missed, and what work or how an agent is performing across different types of work. You now get these analytics and insights that contact center managers can then use to optimize how they're running their contact center. Interesting, and what types of uh, work can contact centers now kind of prioritize, assign, and track using tasks? Yeah, so that's the great thing about task. It's flexible enough to handle any type of work. And what I mean by that is a task could represent, let's say, a case in your case management or CRM application. It could it could represent an email from one of your email management systems or something as simple as an email that's sitting in Outlook. It could also represent something that's super primitive, like follow up with a customer via phone call. Just engage with the customer and ask them or follow up on an issue. So you have the ability to represent the task across any of your applications however you need to, essentially giving you the mechanism to make sure you can route work from all your contact center applications to your agents through through a single uh, routing and queuing engine. Can we just talk a little bit more about that? What, what applications can be connected with tasks? Yeah, so Amazon Connect Tasks includes built-in connectors with CRM applications like Salesforce and Zendesk and more to follow. But what we but, but, but Connect Tasks also provides an API that allows you to integrate with any of your homegrown applications, integrate and create tasks from any of your homegrown applications or a business-specific application. So for example, internally at Amazon, where we use a lot of business-specific tools or homegrown applications, businesses or teams are able to use those applications with tasks to make sure agents are working um, on the right units of work or right items of work from those applications. And so now taking a look at this from the, the agent point of view, how mm -hmm. will uh, agents take advantage of tasks? Yep, so uh, a, a few things here. We have a few set of capabilities here. First, agents can handle multiple tasks at any given time. And when an agent is assigned a task, they see a notification uh, just, like what the, just like they would uh, when they receive a call or a chat. We receive this notification in uh, Amazon Connects agent application, um, one that we call the contact control panel. And the notification includes the task name, the task description, um, reference links to the task where the work might have to be completed or details that the agent might need to um, finish the task uh, faster. Um, the agent has the option now to either click on one of those links, go to the external application, complete the work, um, if it's if it's a task that's as simple as just following up with a customer, they can just make an uh, outbound call to the customer to engage with them. Um, or if the agents already completed their work and they now need to transfer to the next person so that they can complete the next leg of work, they can also transfer tasks. Agents can also transfer tasks to uh, kick off automated workflows. So such an example would be if I've completed, let's say a product return request or a customer refund request, I can just create a task and assign it to an approval queue, which approval workflow. And what would happen as that is a new task would get created. It would approve the customer request and send them a notification, letting them know that their request was approved. 
um, and follow on with a survey or a feedback request um, if that's how the workflow was designed. Agents can also create follow-up tasks in Amazon Connect, and you can create follow-up tasks from either your calls, chats, or other tasks to ensure that customer promises are not missed and that they do indeed follow up with customers um, when originally committed to. Sorry. sorry. I'm, yeah, yeah uh, sorry about that. Can you also automate uh, tasks as well? Yes, you can automate tasks as well. So many contact center managers want to deliver faster and more reliable service by automating repetitive actions that agents might be doing in external applications. Um, one example I gave there is just notifying an end customer using SMS or email. Um, these, type of, these type of automation efforts typically require months of effort building complex integrations with these external applications, which then need, you need to invest in ongoing maintenance um, to track actions across them. With tasks now um, and Amazon Connect Flows, which is Amazon Connect's workflow engine, like I described earlier, that you can use for um, designing interactive voice and chat experiences, you can also automate tasks that don't require any agent interaction. Um, a key thing to add there is um, Amazon Connect Flows allows you to also use AWS Lambda within it, which then gives you the ability to access virtually any backend system and make changes in any of your external applications. So you can pull in information from your external application to then make a data-driven, um, to dynamically decide where the task needs to be routed or enrich the task so that when the agent receives it, they have all the data they need uh, to be able to execute on it. That makes sense. So just to summarize here, tasks are something that can be created by agents uh, manually, uh, mm -hmm. or it can also be something that's created dynamically as well. So for example, yes. we mentioned how you can connect this to other CRMs. Uh, if a new record or case gets set in Salesforce, for example, we can mm -hmm. set that as creating another task and prioritizing and assigning it to an agent with the right skill set. Yep, that is correct. So uh, the built-in connectors that I mentioned earlier, um, the way we've the way we've built that is contact center managers can actually now go set up the connection with Salesforce or Zendesk, and within Amazon Connect, they can actually create rules with a predefined set of conditions. Um, such as, I'll use an example here. You can create a new rule to create a task anytime a new ticket is created in Zendesk or a new case is created in Salesforce. And then you can specify select conditions such as when the priority is high, when the product issue or the um, task type or the ticket type is, let's say, product return. Only then should you create a task. And this is the group of agents that you should assign this task to. Um, so the rules allow you to automate the creation of tasks as well from your external applications. Perfect. And just to clarify here, you can also not just use those, you can also use APIs to connect to homegrown applications as well. That is correct. That is correct. Perfect. Yeah. Sounds good. And then, so how are we, how are we pricing uh, the task service? Yeah. So Amazon Connect Tasks, with Amazon Connect Tasks, you only pay for what you use, which is in line with AWS's consumption-based pricing model, which customers love. Um, you are charged only based on the number of tasks you create and or when tasks are transferred by agents. So tasks can be created, like a, like you mentioned there as well, by an agent um, or by an API or by using one of our built-in connectors. In those scenarios, those will be uh, billed as new tasks created. And anytime an agent transfers a task to, let's say, another agent after they've completed their first line of work, that would be a new task created or a new task built. Awesome. And if our customers want to go ahead and get started with tasks, what's the right way to do that? Yeah, the easiest way to get started is just by going to aws.amazon.com Amazon uh, connect or by going to aws.amazon.com connect slash tasks. And this is um, uh, GA right now? This is GA, yes. Amazon Connect Task is generally available. Perfect. And are there uh, any demos that we can use to showcase our viewers who are watching right now for tasks? Yeah, um, Erin? Yeah, I'm happy to jump into a quick demo. Um, I will say for viewers that Prashant and I have a session that's airing next week that has a like full 15 minute demo. So this one is just gonna be shortened to give you a little taste of how tasks works. So let me share my screen. And I will just share the entire screen. There we go, okay. Oh, wow. That was fun. Okay, so this is the Amazon Connect test chat experience. So I'm gonna jump in. Here we have a customer on the left that is chatting with an agent on the right and the agent's gonna end the chat. And once the chat is completed, we like to use disconnect flows to take the customer to ask them how their experience was. 
Um, and I might have left this open for too long to actually do that. Um, so let me start the chat over and I'll just start a new one. So I'll go from the top. But basically I wanted to show how when a customer talks to an agent, when the contact is over, we can actually get their feedback and then create a task based on what the customer says. So we can pretend that some conversation goes on here and then when the agent ends the chat, the customer is then greeted with a disconnect flow that asks them on a scale of one to five, how was your experience? And if the agent didn't meet my needs, I tell them it was too, they didn't, weren't able to complete the request. So we can say the agent didn't refund my subscription. Um, and the fake story here is the fact that someone signed up for a free trial, the free trial ended, and then it just started charging them after that and they weren't ready for it. And so they weren't happy with their experience. Now what we can do in this disconnect flow is once we see that the customer had a negative sentiment, they didn't refund my subscription, we can see that's a value of two, we can integrate with Amazon, or AWS Comprehend to extract the sentiment of it and see it as actually negative. So I'm gonna go behind the scenes and with Lambda and create a task and assign it to a different agent to say, let's look into this more and figure out what happened on this contact and dive into it more. So now I'm gonna to go to this custom CCP to give a larger view. And when the task comes in, you can see here now I have my contact control panel here, which is where I can take calls, chats and tasks all in one spot. And then you have your customer profile, which is what just launched, which is where you can figure out who the customer is. I can see here's their name, their phone number, and their contact history. And I can see there were chats in the past. I can actually associate this contact and say, yes, this is the right person, let's associate it. And then wisdom over here is where we can search Kendra for some knowledge articles if I need help as an agent. But when a task comes in, you can see that we see who the customer was, it was me. There, we see that the customer had a negative experience and the feedback was the agent didn't refund my subscription. And the next tasks give you references. So in my case, I connect to the previous contact. And so the agent could go there to view what was the past conversation history. Let me look into this conversation to see what happened. But in your case, maybe when you get negative feedback, you can say, let me pull in the Salesforce or the Zendesk contact for this customer so I can associate it here. So then your agent can go look into the CRM system and see what happened or let me see their past history there. Or maybe if it's a subscription ID, you can link to your custom application that has the subscription so that I can now quickly just one click, go look at the subscription and actually go refund the customer from that. We also have a list of task information. So we can see it start from a contact flow. We see the customer feedback, the name, and a few other items that the contact flow uses to help route the customer. So at this point, if my agent wanted to click on the contact trace record, they could, and they can see the history of the conversation, which in this case, you guys saw it was a short conversation, but this would ideally be useful for the agent. And now they can complete the task. And all of this is connected within the task because we can pass through the previous contact ID. And so as your supervisor, they can look at one of the contact trace records and see, oh, this was actually caused by this previous contact. And so it links everything so you can have a comprehensive view of the journey of your customer. And finally, as your agent completes this task, they can start a new one. Maybe they want to escalate to a manager or connect it to someone else. They can do so all by filling out the information here and assigning it to a queue, and then they can create it and go from there. And so I know this story isn't the most compelling story, but it shows you how you can pull together a few different items to create your tasks. We can start with the chat. We can use Lambda to create it based on neg if the customer had negative sentiment. And now we can follow up with our customer to ensure that moving forward, they do have a good customer experience with our company. For example, what if you use Twitter and you, you have a process that pulls from Twitter and grabs all the tweets that are mentioned about your company. From there, you can trigger a Lambda function to create a task and now it's provided to your agents. And if you want to, your agent could create a new task and just respond to the tweet from here, and then your Lambda function can post it to Twitter. So 
opportunity, the options are endless, and this just shows some of the customization that you can do. But if you want to see a more full-fledged demo that includes integrations with Salesforce and kind of diving into how to set up rules and everything, then tune into our session next week. Thank you, Aaron. And just a quick question from looking at that demo. Mm -hmm. I, I know the story here with tasks is this is meant to optimize an agent's time, right? So mm -hmm. spend less time outside of phone calls and more time helping the customers resolve their issues. Uh, and that's kind of evident by the demo here. But can we also assign tasks to uh, a QA supervisor or some sort of manager based on the feedback of a call, for example, as well? Like I know you showcase for the agent there, but just so they don't have to spot check you know, a bunch of calls, they can just take a look at the calls that they need to and make their time more efficient too. Definitely. I mean, tasks you set up in the back end just like you do for chat and voice. And so all it is is assigning to a queue. And so if you have a user who's there, your manager user, you could have a management queue. And then these sort of tasks are only assigned to the management queue. So your managers are the ones who sees that. In my demo, it was the same agent both times just because it's only me, but you could totally do that with agents, supervisors, any persona. You create the profile and you assign it to the queue and you have that control. Awesome. Yeah, I know that's a huge feature for, you know, even simplifying a manager or supervisor's uh, time instead of like going through tons of conversations, only go through the mm -hmm. ones that they're assigned tasks for. So that sounds like a great feature. Um, and are there any kind of customer use cases you guys can talk about as well? And uh, any customers have uh, seen any success with this? Yeah, I, I can I can share about one of our customers, Fujitsu, who's been uh, evaluating Amazon Connect tasks in beta uh, for a while now, um, and they plan to, they've been they've been they've been really great customers in terms of using tasks, providing us feedback, and helping us shape the product. Um, Fujitsu will be actually using Amazon Connect tasks to prioritize and assign um, and track emails and tickets across their fifty three hundred contact center agents. Uh, spread across multiple different contact centers within their organization, primarily to improve work distribution and track if the work is completed or not. They're also using connectors with Salesforce um, and integrations with Amazon like chatbots and Amazon Pinpoint to automate follow-up notifications for customers. Based on their beta evaluation, Fujitsu projects a 30% uh, improvement in agent productivity measured by agent time savings. Um, and they actually expect to continue to see more and more improvements as they start looking into more of the Connect innovations that we recently announced at reInvent, such as Amazon Connect Wisdom, Amazon Connect uh, Customer Profiles, and Contact Lens. Great stuff, guys. Uh, before we finish this, is there anything I missed, anything cool or anything else that we didn't talk about that you feel like we should address? No, I, I, think we, I think we covered a lot of it. I think the only one thing that I'd add is, as Aaron was, for example, demoing what's happening there and agents being assigned a task, what exists on the, uh, on the, on, uh, behind the scenes is for contact center managers, they can actually see within dashboards in real time which agent is working on what task, how long are they taking on these tasks, just like they would typically manage their call or a chat. They're also able to see, um, let's say I have a task assigned to me and I'm taking that's it. It's been assigned for 36 hours, but the typical expectation is tasks like this should only should be completed within 12 hours. They can see that an agent, let's say Prashant, has been assigned a task. They've been working on it for 36 hours. Something's wrong. They need to investigate. You've clearly missed your service level, and clearly a customer's been disappointed there. So we need to investigate what's happening, and that's something contact center managers now have the visibility to do so. Um, like your earlier point, you can dynamically, when situations like this happen, also create tasks to assign it to a manager so that they don't need to actually look into the dashboard. It can just notify them that they need to then go look into what's going on with a particular task that might have missed its service level. Awesome. Well, thank you both. Oh, before we uh, head out here, uh, again, can you just mention uh, that session, Aaron, where customers can go and learn more? Yes, it is. I don't have the session ID on me, but I know it's Thursday. I think it's 2.15 Central Time, maybe. So that's 4.15 Pacific Time. Is that right, Prashant? That, that, that's, about, that's about right, yes. The session's called Easily Automate, Manage, uh, Easily Automate, Track, and Manage Tasks with Amazon Connect Tasks. Sounds great, guys. Make sure to search for Amazon Connect Tasks uh, and check out that session. Well, thanks again for uh, coming here and talking about tasks, uh, and thanks for everyone who uh, watched. Take care. Thank you, everyone. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.